Okay, this is the AQA required practical on reflection and refraction and what we're going to be doing is comparing reflection and refraction with two different materials and the two different materials we're doing is perspex, so this is a perspex block and glass, this is the glass block. Now what you've probably done in school, in lessons, is the, the diagrams I've drawn you may well have done, so I've pre-prepared this sheet and on this sheet I've very simply drawn round the blocks to save us some time. So that is the perspex block and this is the glass block and the first thing you always do when you're doing uh, reflection or uh, refraction is we need to label up the, the normal line. So you can see, if I just move the row box out of the way, uh, we've got a normal line here and a normal line is 90 degrees to the surface of the block. So using my protractor you can see if I just line up the 90 degree line here with the block then I can just draw down the edge of the protractor and I know that this line is now at 90 degrees to the surface uh, and I've labelled it there at the normal as you can see. So all the angles I draw now, all, all my angles are measured to that line uh, and I've already put in my angle of incidence which we'll come to in a sec. So over on the glass block exactly the same, drawn around the block and I've drawn my normal line at 90 degrees to the surface. Okay, now because we're comparing the angle of re uh, reflection and refraction with two materials, we're going to keep our angle of incidence the same for both. So I've pre-drawn this, and if you have a look, I'm going to measure this, this line here I've drawn. I'm going to measure it to the normal, and hopefully you'll see that it is 60 degrees. You can see it's along the 60 degree line. Okay, so to do this, if you were doing it from scratch, you'd line the protractor up to the normal, you'd read around 60 degrees, put a little dot, and then you can draw from the centre where the normal meets the surface and then draw a line across. So I've already done that and this angle is 60 degrees and doing exactly the same over here you can see line my protractor up to the normal and hopefully you should see that it's at 60 degrees. Okay so that angle there is 60 degrees. So what we're going to do, I'll turn the lights off in a second, but we're going to get our ray box and shine the ray box down the normal, down the, uh, the the line at 60 degrees and then with our block in place, so if I just try and line this up before we turn the lights off, okay, you can see that's pretty much in place. We're going to mark off where these rays do, but of course with the light on you're not going to be able to see this, so if we just pop the lights off, okay, there we go. So you can hopefully see on the paper, I have got the angle of incidence is 60 degrees. So this, ang this uh, ray of light is coming in at 60 degrees and it's being reflected. You can see clearly here the reflected ray. So there's the angle of incidence coming in and it's going out at an angle of reflection. So to do that, what well, the first thing we can do, we can mark where this line is. And the easiest way to do that is just to put some crosses. I'm going to put a couple of crosses where that is. You might not be able to see that uh, with no light on the film but we'll twitch the lights back on in a second. So that's the easiest one. You can see in, reflected, out. Then the other one that we're doing, if you look down at this end towards the bottom of the block, we can see where the light is coming out. Okay, now it's coming out at this point and what we really need to mark is you may just be able to see the path of the light through the block. We obviously can't mark that because I can't get my pen in. So what we need to do is just mark here where the light comes out. So if I just put some crosses, okay, and then in a second when we turn the lights back on, we can join all those up. So if we just pop the lights back on, there we go, lights on. Okay, now we can see things a bit clearer. So if we have a look here, first thing we can do is draw in using the two points we made for the, the uh, angle of reflection. If I just do that, okay, and then down here we can see this is, this is the point where the light came out of the block. So here, these, these two points here are where the light came out of the block. So I can sort of join these up, okay, so if I join those up like that, so we know that the light came out of the block about here, then what I can do, I can join that up there. So we know that if the light came out the block here, and we know the light came into the block here, by joining those two points, this 
line must be the path that the light travelled through the block, knowing that light travels in a straight line through the block. And so in a second we can measure this angle here. Okay, before we do that, we can, if we switch the lights back on, we'll do exactly the same on the glass. So I've got the glass block, let me just line it up slightly. Before, okay. And if we turn the lights off, I'll try and line that up. So you can see I'm shining the ray box down the line at our angle of incidence of 60. I'm just going to put some crosses. Okay, and then from this one, I'm going to do exactly the same this end. Okay, and I'm going to mark where the ray of light is coming out. So we've got the reflected ray of light and the refracted ray of light. So again, if we turn the lights on, we'll be able to join these up. Okay, we'll do the reflected first. So I'm going to do it, join these hopefully, so we can see it's something like that. Okay, and then these again. This is, this is the ray of light that left the block. So if we try and join those up, and because it left the block here, so if we now join that up with where it came in, so we know that it came in here, it left here, so we know that the ray of light must have followed that particular path through. So all we've got to do now is measure some angles. So the first angle we'll measure is the angle of reflection for both. So I'm going to measure this angle here to the normal. So if I put my protractor up, so I'll try and line that there. And you can see pretty clearly, hopefully, that this angle from the normal is 60 degrees. So that's pretty much, couldn't get that any, any better, just to realign that, that's 60. So if we have a look at this one, okay, and line that up. And you can also see, hopefully you can see it, maybe not as clear. We're pretty much, that's like 59, 59 and a half degrees. So we'll just call that 60 because I'm hoping you remember from your lesson that the angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection. And we've proved that with both. So for perspex and glass, the angle of incidence is the same as the angle of reflection. The angle of incidence is the same as the angle of reflection. So now we've come on to re the refracted angle. So to do that, again, we need to be measuring this angle from the normal. So if I put my protractor on, try and line that up. Okay, and you can see counting from here, we've got 10, 20, 30. So this is about 35 degrees. Okay, so we've got 60 degrees incidence, 35 degrees refracted angle. And then we'll do this one. We'll line that up. Okay, and you can see from the normal 10, 20, about 30 degrees. So we do have a significant difference. The angle of incidence and refraction was 60 to 35 for perspex. For glass, we had 60 to 30. So putting all that just on a summary sheet, just in case you can't read any of those. For the angle of incidence of 60 degrees, we said perspex, the angle of reflection was 60. And for glass, it was also 60. So if you remember from your earlier studies, we've said that these two should be the same. And this is known as the law of reflection, that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of refraction. But for perspex, our angle of refraction was 35. For glass, it was 30. So you can see we've got a significant difference there. So it would appear that glass is bending the light or refracting the light much more than the perspex is. It's actually doing it by five degrees more for the angle of 60 degrees, angle of incidence of 60 degrees. So we can see, as we set out, we start, we, the aim of the, this quick demonstration was to show that perspex and glass does light behave differently in terms of reflection and refraction. And we've said that reflection is the same, the law of reflection holds for both, that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, but their light is refracting differently through the two materials. And in our case, it's been a difference of five degrees.